Sure. Thank you. Uh, I think Susie actually said it well, and I was a huge beneficiary of a lot of what Susie said there. I, uh, I, I read and studied his books, and I think the first one came out when I was in college, and I never imagined that I'd meet him. And uh, when I met him and got to know him, he was he wildly surpassed the image of everything I had read by him or uh, about him. I mean, he was a real... He was a real unbelievable uh, leader and, and talent developer, and you know everyone focuses the Jack story on the numbers because, of course, they're phenomenal. And you know he built the biggest company in in the country, and and the unbelievable returns and the unbelievable scale. But uh, and I guess Jack was a numbers guy, so he would have appreciated that the the focus on the numbers and and the real story told by the numbers. But uh, to me, the the big impact Jack had was on people, my, myself being one of them, but uh, how much he cared about people you could see in spending any time with him anywhere. The people he was around, everybody around Jack wanted to be uh, better when they were with him, and he lifted people up. He was like a sun beaming rays of confidence on everyone in his orbit, uh, and that went from politicians to CEOs to waiters to valets to drivers. It was really everybody and and it was something for all of us to be inspired by and and joey how much of a, a help has he been specifically with your business i mean i i guess there's some level of comparison to what he built in the in, in the aspect of it being quite a sort of sprawling conglomerate did did you guys engage uh, quite quite detailed in terms of the best way to run a company like that yeah absolutely i mean we we could only hope to to build things like what Jack built at, at GE. But, yeah, we, we've done a lot of things differently than, than GE, but he, his influence on the company was enormous and, and lasting. Everybody, lots of the leaders in the company knew Jack and spent time with Jack and and how knew how he thought about businesses. And the, the amazing thing about Jack and where he was maybe most uh, helpful to me and to others, is he was a savant at knowing how people were thinking and what they needed to hear, and he was able to deliver that with uh, uh, just a kind of perfect blend of candor and empathy, and and that was that matters to any business. Our our business, being a multi business business, did have or does have some similarities, I suppose, with GE, but but. Most of the lessons, I think, from Jack and most of the things I learned from Jack would apply to any business anywhere, which is what talent is and how to handle talent and how to make people feel good and, and how to win and have a, how to have an organization organized around winning. I mean, he was the most ruthlessly competitive person I ever met in a, in a totally wonderful way, but he was unbelievably competitive. I have endless stories on that. Jelly, thank you for phoning in to share your memories of Jack Welch. Thank you for having Joey me. Joey Livin, IAC's CEO.